Let me talk with you just for a couple minutes, bro. We got a good message for you, King. Come on, man. Family that's crossing the street, how y'all doing today? Y'all believe in Do y'all believe in Christ? Jesus Christo? Big bro, the Bible tell black men, are you a black man, bro? Yes or no? All right, all right. The Bible tell black men that we came to America on slave ships, bro. Did you know that? Did you know that it say that in the Bible? Okay, so why did it say that in the Bible? It tell us that so that we can know who our culture is. Who is who? What nation do you come from? Who are your people, bro? What nation of people do you come from? You see, that's what I'm saying. So if the Bible is speaking about the slave trade. What's the reason that it's there? But you walking away like you don't care, King. I, I'm not gonna force it down your throat, but I'm <laughs> I'm trying to show you that you know something, but you don't understand why you know it. You said you know that the Bible say that black men going into slavery, but you don't know why. Okay, ladies, do you, ladies, do y'all believe in Christ? Okay, can I have a moment with you to speak about Christ? No, it's, it's not that serious. It can't be, right? If we're talking about God. All right. I got you. This is the book of 1 Kings, chapter 1. It's like in 1 Kings, chapter 8, verse 46. If they sin against thee, for there is no man that sins not, and you be angry with them, and deliver them to the enemy, so that they carry them away captives unto the land of the enemy far or near. Yet if they shall bethink themselves in the land whether they are carried captive right. and repent and make supplications unto thee in the land of them that carried them captive, saying, We have sinned, we have done perversely, we have committed wickedness, and so return unto thee with all their heart and with all their soul and in the land of their enemies which led them away captive and pray unto them, pray unto thee toward their land which you gave unto their fathers, the city which you have chosen, and the house which I have built for your name. That we read it from the Bible, and nobody stopped to even consider that I might need to listen for a second. Not one person that's walking across the street, nobody that just walked into the store, and we got a black man that's reading from the Bible. But that don't matter. All right, and that's why that's why that's why the Lord got us in this situation right now. That's right. So we're gonna see. We're gonna we're gonna eat that up for a second. This the book of Baruch, chapter four and verse one. This is the book of the commandments of God, and the law they endure forever. All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. Right. And that's what happened to our people. We fell in that. We we fell into the death of God. By not keeping his commandments. Our fathers didn't keep his commandments and now we are paying the price. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 6, verse 23. For the commandment is a lamp, and the law is light, and reproof of instructions are the way of life. Alright, so that scripture is a is a is a scripture that gives you a piece of the puzzle. Um, the commandment is the light of God and his law is the light of God. And if we keep it, it reproves us. So that's why we gotta keep that. We gotta keep God's laws and we gotta follow them so that we can come back to life in this debt that we just, that we've been in, that we've been in this whole time since we came in slavery. It's the book of Deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse 15. See, I have said before thee this day, life and good and death and evil, and that I command thee this day to love the Lord thy God, to walk in his ways, and to keep his commandments and his statutes and his judgments, that thou mayest live and multiply, and the Lord thy God shall bless thee in the land whither thou goest to possess it. We'll jump down to 18. All right. We read it from the Bible. Who got a few seconds? Who got a few moments to come up to the table and learn about the scriptures that we're going through today? Ladies, fellas, 
No, y'all got two minutes for God. Black me. men, black women. Nobody got time for God. All right, let's keep reading. Verse 18. I denounce unto you this day that ye shall surely perish and that ye shall not prolong your days upon the land with the thou pass over Jordan to go possess it. All right, so because we did not keep the commandments, we did not keep the promised land that was across Jordan. And now we stuck in America and everybody think that it's all good and it's not. We supposed to be kings and queens. We call ourselves kings and queens, but we live like servants. We live like peasants. That's right. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 2, verse 15. They that fear the Lord will not disobey his word, and they that love him will keep his ways. They that fear the Lord will seek that which is well-pleasing unto him, and they that love him shall be filled with the law. They that fear the Lord will prepare their heart and humble their souls in his sight, saying, We will fall into the hands of the Lord and not into the hands of men. For as his majesty is, so is his mercy. So if you're not doing the things that please unto the Lord, you don't fear the Lord. And the things that are pleasing to the Lord is the commandments. It's the book of Mark, chapter 7, and verse 7. How be it in vain do they worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men, for laying aside the commandment of God. Ye hold the tradition of men, as the washing of pots and cups, and many other such. So instead of keeping God's laws and commandments, y'all go to Sunday school. Y'all go to Sunday, y'all go to church on Sunday to learn about the fake God instead of keeping his commandments. And so because of that, we in this situation today. This is the book of Proverbs chapter eight, verse 13. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride and arrogancy and the evil way and the froward mouth do I hate. Counsel is mine and sound wisdom. I am understanding, I have strength. By me kings reign and princes decree justice. By me, princes rule, and nobles, even all the judges of the earth. I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. Riches and honor are with me, yea, durable riches and righteousness. My fruit is better than gold, yea, than fine gold, and my revenue than choice silver. So when men are following God, kings are running the earth. Kings are reigning. But when we not following God, we have Caucasian people that's reigning over the earth. We have Hindu people that's reigning over the earth. And uh, the people that's in the, the Muslim people that's reigning over the earth. But when people are following God the way we supposed to, it's gonna be black and Latino men follow, uh, that's reigning over the earth. The true princes of this earth. That's right. But right now we got our servants reigning over the earth because we not following our God. It's the book of John, chapter 14, and verse 15. If ye love me, keep my commandments. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that ye may abide with you forever. That's right, so we have to keep God's commandments so that he can even send the word to his Father to live for us. I mean, to ride for us. We got to keep the commandments, everybody. Everybody that's passing by, y'all got a few moments to come speak about Christ. We serving the invitation right now. Family, do y'all have a few moments to speak about Christ? All right, they walk past like we not here. This is the book of Romans chapter 12 and verse two. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good, acceptable and perfect will of God. All right, so you have to be converted. You got to convert yourself from the ways that we was taught and be transformed into the ways of God, which is following the commandments. 
It's the book of Acts, <laughs> chapter 3, verse 19. Yeah, Psalm 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. So you have to convert. Do you do you all believe in Christ? Do you ladies believe in Christ? Strong believers in Christ. Okay. That's good to know. When you come across the street, I want you to come and speak with us because we do have the message of Christ. Have you heard that he's a black man before? Have you ever heard that before? That Christ is a black man? No? Well, Christ is definitely a black man. So, the message of uh, Revelation is going to reveal to you the true color of Christ. All right? Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. We'll start at verse 10 just to show that it is a revealing. It's the book of Revelation chapter 1 and verse 13. Verse 10. I was in the spirit of the Lord. It's like I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. And heard behind me a great voice as a trumpet. So he was. So we have John speaking, and he's in the spirit of the Lord on the. I'm sorry, he's in the spirit of the Lord on the Lord's day. That's the Sabbath day. And he's and he heard something, right? He heard something. Did you ladies hear that? Are y'all listening, or y'all just gonna oh, talk no, to we each other? Okay, he asking y'all a question. Right. So, okay, we are gonna read the verse again. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 10. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice as a trumpet. So did that, so did he hear something? Did y'all listen? Yeah. Okay, good. So this is a physical thing that's happening in this verse. This is Revelation verse 1, verse 10. And it's about to reveal to you the physical form of Christ. So let's go down to it. Verse 12, and I turned to see the voice that spake with me, and being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. Verse 14, and his head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. All right, so what people on this earth have woolly hair? What people, on, what nation of people on this earth have okay, woolly what, hair? what's the message? Well, I asked you across the street. I asked you, did you ever hear that Christ was a black man? You okay. didn't get the response. No, I did not because okay. I didn't want to yell. I was right. coming over I got here. You. Yeah. So I what nation what color what nation of people have woolly hair on this earth? For me it doesn't matter who has well, woolly hair. Well that's not what I'm I'm asking about well, the I'm asking about to you a question that is re being revealed in the book of the Bible. Okay? So if the Bible don't matter to you, that's fine. Is that it, what you're is that what you're saying? I just spent a whole day evangelizing right now. Okay. okay so the whole day. Are you, okay, so let's get let's You're get concluding you're concluding that the Bible let's doesn't get, let's matter. Get first Peter 1 and 15. We can't we can't argue about it. So to be, the color is white. I don't care. They're lost. I don't care. If they wanted to change it, if it didn't so matter, why, why, it? why are we focused on the color? Then what it did? Does the truth matter? Listen. Well, you, that's the question. No, 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 no. Does the truth matter? You are really being uh, like a dictator. Oh. So, the book of verse Peter, you chapter you one, and verse fifteen. You can tell me. Ask but the as he, I'm also asking you a question. So you can't. Wait, listen. Give us a second. Give us a second. Mind. We're gonna read the scripture. For, we're gonna read the scripture for you. Come on, listen for a second. My thing is. We're speaking the Lord's word. Know. Give it a second. Hold, hold the peace. Listen. There will be no people the here. The book of First Peter, chapter one and verse fifteen. But if you but wanna, as I he want people which has no you, you is to holy. Listen to the people. Other than you, other than that, you're talking to yourself. You don't want to listen to me. Then Again. just talk to yourself. Again. The book of First <laughs> Peter, chapter three and verse fifteen. But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts, and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asks you a reason of the hope. That is in you with meekness and fear. Those women broke that law, right? The law, he just, he just brought out the law, the New Testament, 
and those women broke the law. That's why we just had confusion before us. It's the book of First Timothy, chapter 2, verse 11. Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. For Adam was first formed, then Eve. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression. Right, so when men are speaking, women are supposed to be in silence. But when women think that they know everything, the Lord got to come and judge them. That's what's coming. That's right. It's the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 33. For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all the churches of the saints. Let your women keep silence in the churches, for it is not permitted unto them to speak, but they are commanded to be under obedience, as also says the law. And if they will learn anything, let them ask their husbands at home, for it is a shame for women to speak at church. There it goes. Oh, women are just supposed to be women supposed to be silent in the church. They was amongst the men, which is the church, and we had confusion. It's the book of First Peter, chapter three and verse one. Likewise, ye wives, be in subjection to your own husbands, that if any obey not the word, they also may without the word be won by the conversation of the wives. While they behold your chaste conversation coupled with fear. Right, so the godly women, they would not present the madness that those women was just in front of us presented. Uh, godly women would be in peace, meekness, and in fear amongst men who's trying to speak about God. That's right, they're talking about they being an evangelist all day. All day. And we, we're the ones out here with Bibles, and they quick to run from us. Right. Let's talk to them, Right. What'd you say, y'all, man? We'll find them on Saturday. Yeah, they, but you and they evangelize. <laughs> I was like, well, sister, you've been evangelized. Can you give us just a couple seconds? Can you be patient with us? No, no, no. Oh, yeah, you been evangelizing though. Yeah. Really, really that other one, though, she thought she was just, like, what's doing on this thing, man? You can see it all over her, man. The spirit is, they don't want to hear about Christ being black. Yeah. Yeah, right. it's a problem. Right. Hey, family, do any of y'all believe in Christ? Any of you believe in Christ? Can, it, can we get a couple minutes with you to speak about our king? Come on, man. Come on, bring your family, bro. Y'all come speak about the king with us. Y'all running from God right now. We got, brother, we got brothers running to y'all to come speak with us about God. What a sight. This is an astonishing sight. What's going on, Kings? Y'all got a couple minutes, man. Let us talk about the Bible with you for a few moments, bro. Come on, man. Y'all know when y'all bless y'all food, y'all say thank you, God, bro. Y'all know what y'all do. Come holler at us for a few moments about the Bible, bro. Two minutes, bro. Not the ops. Oh. Come on, kids. We gotta do better. We gotta do better. All right. With that, I'm gonna give a mighty shalom and uh, give it to another mighty speaker. Yo, Judah Apollo.